Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, March 26 of 2020. And this is my birthday, March 26. And I am 79 years old. Uh, just so happens that every three months I had, it's not because it's my birthday, but every three months I have to uh, send data on my pacemaker to the cardiologist office and they can tell everything uh, how much power is left in the battery the heart rate everything once a year I go into actually go into the cardiologist office and they check but they do the same you know it's the same same thing as far as the data is concerned I don't know why they uh, have me you know have you had any uh, heart pounding. If you had any, and it, you know, I've checked. One time I went and I checked. Yeah, I think my heart was pounding. You know, the other days, I, you know, whatever. So when they uh, got a great doctor, by the way, cardiology group or whatever, great, great doctor. But anyway, he comes in and uh, nope, your heart wasn't pounding. <laughs> so they can tell everything. At some point, and I hope it's not during this flu or this virus or whatever. At some point. See, I had this put in in 2010. It is 2020. And I think the life expectancy of the battery is about, not this battery, but the battery in my chest. It's about 10 years or whatever. But uh, I, when the battery gets low, uh, the cardiologist said that then instead of doing this every three months, Maybe do it every two months, and then as the battery gets lower, do it every month. And then, I don't know whether they go weekly or, how, you know, how they do it. Because they, you know, there is some risk involved in even replace, just replacing the battery. Um, so they don't want to unnecessarily. So, But now what I don't want to happen now is, of course, uh, have to go in, which I, I don't think is going to happen. But... It would be bad to go in at this time. I wouldn't want to get the virus, and also I wouldn't want to use up because when they do the surgery to take out the battery and put a new one in, you know, they have to use masks and gowns and that type of stuff, and I would like for that to be available for other people that right now, you know, need it. So this is my second attempt at this video. Like I said, this today's my birthday, and my daughter LaDonna uh, just happened to call and uh, right in the middle of the uh, video that I was going that I was making um, so have to repeat here uh, in uh, October 5th on October 15th of 2010 I uh, at just before they closed at 8.30 p.m., I went down to uh, Walgreens, about two blocks from here, walking. We don't have a car, but uh, walking down. And as I was walking down there, especially when I got to, like, to their parking lot, I thought, wow, I feel terrific. I feel now like when I was a 10-year-old boy out running and riding a bicycle and and, you know, like I could jump over a tall building, you know, faster than a whatever. And I thought, that's weird. <clears throat> My uh, son had, a, I don't know, a few weeks before that, he had purchased a, we went to the mall together, and then one of those vitamin shop places or whatever. And he's a big believer in vitamins and that type of stuff. He bought an expensive big bottle of vitamins. And he bought me one, too. And eh, I'm not much into vitamins unless it's uh, children's vitamins, you know, one a day or something. But I started taking them. And so as we were crossing the park, as I was crossing the parking lot, I thought, wow, maybe those vitamins are working. But then I went in and uh, picked up a few items and then bang, I'm on the floor looking up saying, what happened? And they said, you fainted. And I said, I've never fainted in my life. And they said, well, we called 911. And I said, well, I'd, I'll just call my son and have him walk me home, which was stupid, you know, of me. 
And uh, <clears throat> so they put, anyway, 911 on the phone with me. And I said, no, I'll just, you know. But anyway, the firemen showed up first. And uh, they checked it. I, I'm not sure if that's when they came up with the 25 or if it was then the ambulance got there right away. Maybe that's when they uh, took a reading or whatever. I can't remember which now. But uh, they said, uh, 25. And I said, 25 what? You know, just, they said, your heart rate is, tw- oh, I, I, I was telling them, ah, I'll just walk on home or whatever, you know. And uh, they said, 25. And I said, uh, 25 what? And they said, your heart rate is 25. And I said, I need to go to the hospital. And they said, yeah, <laughs> you need to go to the hospital. So they got me in the ambulance. And then they, and I've always had good veins and arteries. I worked hospital security for 30 years. And like there was once or twice that a, a LPN needed one more stick in order to be certified that she could do uh, draw blood or start an IV or whatever it was. And, and they were like, oh, you know. I said, come on over. I said, is it okay if, you know, does it have to be a patient or can she? No, no. So, the, And then there was times where uh, maybe, I'm not sure, I really wasn't sick. But there's times that nurses said, you have got one, you know, I wish all the patients had, you know, and whatever. But anyway, so here I'm in this ambulance and they can't get it. And I thought, that's not good. And uh, they were trying, one was trying one side, one was trying the other side. And then anyway, the, uh, they're both, I don't want to say ambulance driver, you know, one, not, one's not an ambulance, they're both, you know, paramedics or whatever. But the one paramedic told the guy who was going to be driving, again, he's not just, an, you know, but uh, said, uh, you know, we need to go, you know. I'm not sure if he said code three or whatever, lights and siren. Then he, then the paramedic was telling me, and I don't be concerned, but we're going to go lights and siren. But we just want to get you down to the hospital quick. And I said that's okay with me. And uh, then all of a sudden, my uh, heart rate went up to normal, <laughs> and they could get a good pulse or whatever. And so the paramedic told the other paramedic, okay, that just normal speed. No lights, no siren, you know. And uh, because those paramedics got that reading, they had it on the chart, a total heart block. And uh, if they hadn't have gotten that, my cardiologist said, you know, well, what we might do is, what we would have done is just monitor, you know, put a monitor on you and, and, uh, you know, you go home with it or something and see. But since they got it, uh, I think we need to put the pacemaker in you. So they put the pacemaker in me. And, uh, of course, there at the beginning, I went back, you know, a couple times close. <clears throat> but n- after that, uh, every 90 days, once a year, I go to the cardiologist's office. And then every three months, I do this. So... I'll put a link to this seven minutes, and I don't think there's anything exciting in there. But, you know, I do this every three months, and I uh, I swear I can't remember how to, you know, can't remember. Does this open, or is this for the battery? I can't remember. Oh, that's what it is. I always forget. It's my cell phone that has to do the linking. That's why I knew there was something. Okay. Okay. Uh, diabetes? No. MCL Smart Medtronics. That is it. Okay. Okay. Medtronics. I'm not sure since I don't. Maybe I should. Uh, let me do that. Let me put this. Uh, bring this up so I can see what you see when I hold this up. Okay. Uh Pulling up the app, I think. Okay, showing me to push the button.
Okay, I pushed the button. Okay, I did push the button. Okay, it's... Okay, that shows me to put it over my heart. I think it's showing the uh, bar graph there at the bottom is uh, like the old modems, you know, that you hook to your computer. Probably makes the same sound. So, bar graph is growing across the bottom. It's getting the data. And then it will, you know, this, uh, um, this, about, uh, uh, um, oh, it's, uh, uh. I don't want to hold my hand. I'm tired. I'm old. So, so this will send the data, and they've never ever called me. Well, that's good because I've never had, if there was a problem, I'd get a call from them or something. I've never had that problem. Um, if I were to have some type of problem that I thought I was having, heart connected, I could do this, and can't remember if I did it one time, I'm, I'm thinking when I went in the hospital, I missed an appointment for this, and actually the doctor's cardio was right at the, you know, office building right next to the hospital, but I was in the hospital for six days with an infected leg, and I think I went ahead and did it, but my insurance takes care of I think the total amount of this, but it's not not inexpensive. Uh, it would be if you didn't have insurance. I think it's I think it's seven. Okay, we're just about the end here. Seven. I think it's about seven hundred dollars. Not seven. It's not. Can't remember. Don't pay any attention to me. I'm a rambling, rambling old man. So as soon as it's, the data is, there we go. So now it's telling me I can just lay this sucker down. Okay, there we go. Data sent. Man, that didn't take long. So, we're done, I think. It says data sent. I guess I pushed the home button. I think it's over with. So I can put this away for, well, it's still flashing. Oh, I think that it times out, that's it. Yeah, it'll, it, it sent the data, so this will time out after here a little bit. So that is it. Um, I have a, number of videos on this several even several other are doing the pacemaker man this cable is the headphones is, uh, wrapping up it's gonna uh choke me um i don't think there's anyway a, a lot of people have left uh comments uh you know, saying, uh, in fact, this is this has 66 comments. Um, people have left comments, I'm getting ready to have this a pacemaker put in, my father's going to have one put in, thank you very much, for, you know, because, man, I'm glad that we're wondering how it's going and all that kind of stuff. So, this thing is still... Well, I think they send me an email when they get it. Let me minimize this. We go to here, go to Gmail. Yes, here we are. Your transmission was successful. It was received by your clinic on the following day. Your clinic will review your 
transmission and contact you if necessary. Okay. Um, I think on this, like if you're watching this video, well not this one, if you're watching the, okay. Said that if you then entered uh, Pacemaker, no, it doesn't take you to, it takes you to all, you know. But as you can see, there are a ton of, uh, ton of videos on this. Huh. A lot of videos. I uh, do thank you for watching. If you can use any of my links below, please do so. If you use the Amazon link and purchase something, I'll get a commission. If you're looking for a new cell phone plan and you use that, uh, you'll get $15, I think, off. And I will get $15 worth of credit or something. I don't know. Anyway, if you can use any of them, please do. Thank you very much for watching.